hello hello welcome welcome this is another video today is friday the 15th yes july and today there's another video where we whip what is in my basket you know there's a friday so y'all get ready i want to show you my progress whips and um i'm not going to show you all my progress because some i really i'm not touching I'm not working on for this past week, but I'm going to show you what did I finish. And welcome, welcome, welcome to the CSD Show, Crochet and Chef. Don't forget, give me a thumbs up, leave your comments, what you think about my designs that I created. I'm not, I'm not, re, I'm, I'm, I cannot do patterns because I cannot read patterns. Um, mostly the I, I created is just my own designs. I use the stitch books. Um, I use so many books that I have and I use the stitch, but I created my own designs. But welcome everyone, and that you first time in here. Welcome, welcome, welcome. My name is Veronica. You can call me V and welcome. So let's start it. Um, let me show you first uh, what that I did. I finished for the whole this week. Um, but you know, the title is, so this is video number two about whipped whips, what is in my basket on Friday. Um, so look this picture and this video, what did I finish? And this is going to be a comment, a, um, a tutorial. And I want to show you the yarn and you had this yarn. That's the yarn I'm gonna use for the tutorial. Um, but look what did I finish, and um, and hopefully you like it. And I'll be back. So what you think? Yes, that is a really nice bag for shopping. Yes. To go get some yarn yes now, well you can use it for anything um this bag this is the bag that you see in the short clip video that's this is the bag this is my on the sign the stitch i use is from one of those books i'm going to put the link for that book but um um they uh when i do the tutorial i'm going to include in the books that i got the stitch but this is a really simple a stitch and you see um this one right here is just a, a single and um and a double this so and i like that the way it's going to be designed the um the yarn when i was working i really love it and this is another color that i did and this part right here i i put a double the double the yarn and and yes i got my uh tag right here made in by v and what did i did in this one i put this right here and let me see if i can um show you what you can find uh, if this is a fabric but i want to show you what is inside give okay, me a second so this is what did i use right here this one you can find in hobby lobby um, this is what there's a call. There's a plastic canvas. So there's a plastic and this set it is to uh, 13 inches by 22 inches. So it's bigger enough. So the size to this size, that was the size the bag had to cut it. So I can have in another one. I can make in two more bags and I can use it. So there's a good, really nice size the bag that I did. So one of these you can use and made it with uh, this right here in um, for three bags. So the fabric I use for this one, um, I get it this one in Walmart for 97 cents. I got bunch of this. So um, I use the gray, um, but in the tutorial, I wanna show you how you can do all this right here in a course the bag. And I'm working and show you the tutorial how you can do your tax too. Um, but yes, so see when you wanna wash in your, when you wanna clean your bag, take this out 
clean it and that's already done put it back and just like that so so you can have you know really then I have to be like when you put a stuff but this one you can use for like uh, um, when you go shopping for yarn or anything there's a really nice a bigger space bag so this is gonna be coming tutorial really soon um, the yarn that I use is this one right here this is the one that I use and um, I use uh, one cake like this this is what I have left for this bag this is the bag and this I much have left and this I have I'm not, I'm not using a lot with this so with two it will be enough for you can make uh, this bag so uh, because I have only these two colors so that's you know what I want to use it so I think that's gonna be enough so I can do it in all the bag the same use this and this so if you have this yarn you save it if you like to wait with making with me in a tutorial well you already had the material but the only you had to get it this one and how we love it this one it costs two dollars and 19 cents but every two weeks have you love it this right here they have for 50 percent off so you're gonna you're gonna pay the half price so this is a good price and this one you pay 97 cents so i mean at least you're gonna spend two dollars and you already have the yarn you're gonna buy just only for two dollars to this unless maybe maybe less two dollars so yes so that one is for the um I was working in that because I said, you know what? Let me try to do something else different. Um, and then my mind was, I, I need to make in some bags too. And uh, but yes, the other the other things you had to, I would recommend them better if you want to get in um like just only like not too too much um, pictures and the fabric because um, Dollar Tree have fabric and um it really nice so you know you can use it in this size or in this size different size so it don't matter so this one is more you can see the difference this was more yellow than this part right here i mean a dollar tree they, ha they have for a dollar 25 but 97 cents in walmart with the uh, with picture i think it's, it's cost a dollar and something so um like this you know some like this cost a dollar something but if it's just like not pictures it's like 97 cents sometimes they had a clearance for 59 cents when it's in them clearance and they have some uh this kind of fabric that i like it hey i get it so see um dollar tree have those two but i want to show you that i use um but let me show you the um the mimosa gorgon that i finished and um i completely finished and um so i put it together i um it's ready so let me put this uh smoke uh video click so you can see how they look in the picture and i'll be back So what you think yes i finished one project completely um and um i really like it i love it so the one that i use the same for i use this one right here this is so really cute and not uh, really nice um I, I have this one right here with me 
because it's a small and I can at my table I can you know finish it, my project um this one right here I get it in Walmart it costs $14.99 it's so really nice it's I'm gonna tell you the bit of the, the big one that I have for my clothes this is a good one if you want to spend something in, in you know for when you finish your projects and you want to um, uh, use them for that and this is a good one you know that's a good one so that one I find in uh, Walmart uh, I, I'm I'm pretty sure I paid $14.99 I think this this that was the price that I paid for so the other one that I start working on too let me show you what did I almost my progress okay so you know, I finished the mimosa garden, and I I finished. I for I I did the bag, and I even I want to show you that, but I was just like, you know what? I want to just do something. I working in my mosaic blanket, but the mosaic blanket I'm going to show you end of the last week, the this month, so you can see the progress about two blankets. I saw you four. But I'm for right now. I'm I'm focused on two. One of the Johnny Faber sisters and the Challengers. So I'm working in the Challengers right now. Um, yes. Yeah, so I'm in the repetition number two for that one. The um because I repeat like a pattern number. I'm in the pattern number five, and I'm repeat I repetition four times. So. I am in the repetition number two. Um, so I need to repeat two more so I can completely the pattern number five. So this is the pattern number five that I'm working on right now. And um, yes, so let me show you. I got my big up cup right here. This is from Hobby Lobby. Um, this is the progress about this bag. This is a color green. Uh, the one that I did is fabric. I did the fabric. Um, and I just already put it together. You can see already put together. This is the progress of this one. And this is a progress in the other one. I'm going to put in more tassels like this. Different one. I mean, not different one with the same, but I want to put a little bit more. And the fabric I used, that's the one, it was from Dollar Tree. So, like, kind of like this one. But of course, this, they had red because the yarn isn't red. So, um, it does really work. Let me take it out so y'all can see it. So, what did I did? I sew it with my hands. I had the machine, but I'm going to do sew it by hand because when i do the tutorial you know you can do that with me and uh what i did i put a tape for fabric and that's what the look you see and um but uh but when i put the tape this is the tape i use and this tape is special for fabric when you put it in the fabric like this just let me show real quick but there's gonna be a tutorial for this everyone so i put it like this put it together and i use it this yes so this is what i did with this ones i did with, with both but when i i did the uh put the tape i saw it again i saw it and no matter what i said you know what i saw it twice i come in i start this this start this way right here and um finishing here and back again i did twice really easy not nothing like oh so fancy to sew it no, 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 no this is it you know this is it and this is what the look inside um you see this is what the look inside i mean like i said that's not perfect but this part is going is going inside when a uh, person put the stuff they're not gonna touch this part right here. So they go this way inside the back like this. Let's go inside the back. And the pretty, the pretty, the pretty size is going in here. 
so when you put your stuff in here you not touch the you know the extra fabric and that's so really nice so this is the one is a progress more and this is the zipper I'll, I'm gonna use for this one um, in color red and this is a size number nine inches by 23 centimeters that's the one I use and I got it in green that's the only green I, I find it that's gonna be so by, by hands okay and I did the um, for the bags that's the way I did for the bags so the boss I'm gonna say that the boss handle for the bag that's already in green this in green and I have in red so that's the same way I crochet the buff and um, this is how much yarn that I have left this could be enough to finish this project so I mean this is pretty much at I, I did with this right here with those two bags and um, I start let me see I start with a new one <laughs> this is me everyone I know I showed last last week my blanket and I want to say I was doing some yarn cake with the with the um how you say my uh my yarn that I always have my stash yarn I did a bigger case that's gonna be in a video um how the look and everything I had another wall right here that I'm gonna put the yarn in there um you're gonna see the idea I have if you like it you know you can you can make you can do that I mean if you have somebody to do that for you hey why not right and what is in there and um but yeah so i did this right here it's not done like you can see this the one that is done they have part i put a fabric in here inside that one is gonna be a cross back like a cross back like this and i did four squares there's one, two, three, four squares, and I put this the zipper in there in the fabric. I always when it's back, something like that, kinda I, I like to put a fabric. So this one else could be another tutorial too. I'm working on in this one. I had to finish this and um when I finish and when I'm gonna start to do the tutorial. So um and I wanna show you the yarn, what yarn you can use, you know, in uh I want to I want to try to give it to you more than one option because sometimes not everyone don't have this kind of yarn or maybe they don't have cotton yarn that we have in here so yes so I want to give you options so you can see the squares this one right here they start with the white and this one right here is start with the yellow this one right here is start with the blue and here's another one with the white so I try to mix the using most that I can the yarn and make the squares with the same colors three colors and um, yes so I had to finish put the handle right here because it's gonna be a cross bag and um, put it together and finish sew it and this will be completely done and of course next week uh, hopefully it will be done um, if I'm starting another project I know I know so I've, I'm gonna be done with this I'm going to try to finish for next Friday okay um, the other one that I did is I I did a, cro a crochet a uh, just super easy square and I did with this way and let me show you real quick like I have my my earphones case okay, this is the my earphones so I make this a square and I put a button right here and so this one is gonna be good for you can put your anything you want to put it in your project bag or whatever you know you can put a fabric if you want to um but i would just start it and you know what i said just let me do it in a square and see how that look put it together and just one square and this is what the look this is in the back this is a really easy square and there's nothing like fancy and it's just super easy and i did another one 
Let me show you another one. Um, um, this one right here is 100% uh, cotton. And this yarn, this yarn is from uh, Hobby Lobby. But I dyed this yarn and I did the colors. You're not gonna find these colors like this in um, um, in Hobby Lobby. I, I, I purchased, I buy the white one and I, I dyed the yarn. So I had a video, how did these colors. It's super easy what you can use, where you can find the, the, um, the stuff that you can make in colors and any colors that you like. And that's what this look. And the other one that I did is I use 100% acrylic and it's this one right here, super easy. And um, this is what they look, and that's in the front. Um, I put it up a big, like a club. And um, let me show you. This this one right here, I closer more, like the blue one, I mean the blue and the, the other one that I just show you, um, more close because you can do that that way. But let me show you. That one you can put your charger your phone for your phone. Um, you can put more other stuff in, you know, in there, including you know your earphones, your small earphones, and um, yeah. So let me put this one inside, and let me show you. This one, let me put it in here. I'm telling you, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, and uh, this one I said I use a hundred percent. Um, acrylic this yarn is from um, Dollar Tree yarn let me show you and voila so you can see this one you can put your uh, charger you can put a little they have more room you can put your earphones you know the one that with the cable um, if you know if you have you can make it in another one just in a specific for this one um, but yes and you can have this like this back separate sometimes you know when you when you go on vacation or something like that you like to get your stuff in different kind of little bags and you know you know where's this bag they have in here so that way i think this could be a really nice idea um to or this one i made this before you know and this one you can put a lot of good things too for your crochet work anything you know that's this one i didn't make in law alone i think it was like two three months ago um but i think that's kind of oh let me show you what did i find in walmart real quick let me close this to right here so i'm um, pretty much that's what I, I i was just working on my progress the blanket like i said the blankets i'm going to show you in next friday not next friday that's gonna be in the 20 not the 22 july 29 it's going you're gonna see the progress over my blanket so the only blankets you're going to see the progress i uh, hopefully i can i can work in and the other ones i can i can do a couple more rounds but the only ones you're going to see a progress is from the challengers and the Johnny Faber season blanket. This is the outline and and this is another idea I'm gonna bring them for you. Um, uh, this is what I, I find in um, uh, Walmart all the day and um, I really like it. It's patch so this is I'm gonna tell you what you can use for this for. I just wanna show you um, this one I find in Walmart. And I hear the um, Dollar Tree has some like this. I never find it. So I say, you know what? I'm going to look in Walmart and the Walmart that I did, they have mini selections and the dog mom. So I think that's pretty much it um, that I was working on. Uh, I'll try to think, but I'm, I think that's, that's it. Oh, let me show you something. Um, in my life yesterday, today is Friday, yesterday, Thursday, 
I show that um, I'm gonna give it this to Alex so he can build them for me. It's a llama. I found this one long time ago. Then it was last year, and it was in my closet. I was looking for something. I think I was looking for um, what I was looking for. I forgot what I was looking for. Um, I was looking for a yarn. <laughs> the yarn uh, is a thread. It's a thread yarn. Really, really fine yarn. And I was just like, oh, look at this. This box is a, it's a, let me see what is inside. So this one right here, I'm going to, I'm going to tell it Alice doing this for me. And um, when he's doing, I want to show you. I uh, hopefully it'll be ready next week. Um, because my son, he do a stitch markers. He like to draw, he like to play video games and all this stuff like that, you know? But let me show you real quick what they have in here. Sorry for the noise, okay? Okay. So the llama like this, they have everything you can build in a llama like that. So they come with the body for the llama. Okay, you can see it. That's the body. And um, another part, like, I don't know. I mean, like I say, I need to see how he's gonna do with this. They have the color, the body, the, the llama, the, and yarn. And those different colors. Sorry for the noise, everyone. I'm trying to make it more. And, um, but yes, so this is the colors. And they have more, like, they have the tape and the little pom-poms and all the stuff like that. I don't know how this thing is going to work. But the good thing is they have the instructions how you can build in the llama. So it's like tutorial then pictures. So I'm going to put in him to do it, you know, a little bit and a little bit in his, in his um, table he had in his room because he had like a desk, the same thing that I have. Um, so everything like this. Um, and this is pretty much, and see he can use my little thing. <laughs> hey, this is what I'm, I'm saying. You know, this is a good because it's not big one. I was using before the, the big one, the, like the one you use for your clothes, you know. And I said, I'm so happy. Um, I want to say thank you to Jeannie. Uh, she um, she told me about that, that she find a one. And I, when I said, when I have opportunity to go to Walmart, I go check it out. Um, when I go check it out, they don't have in the area so i had to look in in the section for um the fabric it was in the fabric and she said you know look if you don't find in there probably they find in the big ones like the, all the stuff that you use the the big old um big old things like this um probably having it there but now it was in the fabric section they had all this the uh for fabric you like needles and all the stuff like that so that's going to be something for Alice. He can do for me. I mean, not with me. He can do when he can, you know, in his time. And the other ones that I uh, got, this one long time ago. This one last year, too. Um, this is from Alice. This is... Mm -hmm. So, I mean, they have... They have one, two, three, four, five six projects in this box but the project you can do only is this one right here this is the one you can do within this it coming in this box with all the tools including the hook so they come with this okay. they come with the all the yarn see they have the yarn and different colors um they oh and look they come with the see then the needle and everything so it's a really nice they come with this like this and the size the hook i mean it's a, just like a boy hook it is four millimeters so that's good they can come with the hook because you had to make the um working with this yarn right here and not yet but that's it and um 
they have with this book so this book is like a tutorial but it's in pictures um let me show you just one or two so you can see it uh see like uh the ice cream they have what they come with the ice cream cake keys chain the ice cream cone so the other tutorials this is the one they have and they have some more they, have, they show you how you can make the donut this right here all oh, this part right here and um this one right here so i mean there's are really nice ideas like i said i'm not read patterns but i hopefully the tutorial pictures can help me I can read graphs. I know the graph I can do. It's just I look in the graph, I can crochet. Um, that's the only the way I do. Um, and you can see mostly the stuff that I show out, which is just my, you know, I have books. I use books for the graph, for the stitch, you know. The books that I have, they have to have the graph. If they don't have the graph, I cannot do anything because I can't. And I really, I, I don't, I mean, I, did, I really, I don't know how to read the, um, the, um, parents. Um, but yes, guys, so that's pretty much everything. So this tutorial is coming, you know, Mondays, there's going to be my, uh, my mess, my mess Monday, you know, because there's going to be the, that's going to be the calling and Mondays because I'm going to call that way is it will be some different videos. It can be when I go shopping. It can be a tutorial or anything. Whatever I buy from the store. Um, but there's going to be something. Every Monday, there's going to be something different. But I'm working in tutorials. So, um, yes. So, I think that's pretty much everyone. Thank you so much for watching. And leave your comments what you think about you know what is in my basket my wigs wigs what is in my basket because all my stuff is in baskets my projects blankets and all the stuff that is they in basket so that is so far that i was been working on and i'll finish it and um like i said i'm gonna be to do a more small things that i can finish you know in in a day um because sometimes, you know, when I get tired or bored with just making one thing the whole time, the whole time, the, the same thing, the same thing, I like to make something different, at least each day. So, um, but yes. So, hopefully you like all, everything that I've done. Um, but that's pretty much it. Everyone, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment what you think. What did I show? What did I done? What did I finish? Um... And the next Friday, um, we see how much, um, the what did I show you today and the what I show you last past Friday, you know, some I had to focus on some stuff and, you know, I mean, that's, that's me, but, um, but thank you everyone and see you in the next video. Have a wonderful and amazing, amazing yarn day. And don't forget, give me a tummy stomach and see you in the next video and the next Whip, whip, what is in my basket on Friday? See you later, everyone. Have a wonderful day. Bye bye.